Hey folks, it's Mike. Uh, welcome to New Year's Eve uh, day. Um, and uh, I'm just out at uh, Bois d'Esprit for uh, just to take some nice wintry style photos and such. Uh, I'll say uh, this is, you know, my end of year video, uh, as is sort of tradition. Um, 2022 has been a year. Not a great year, not a horrible year, just a year. Um, haven't been able to uh, go out and photograph as many things and places as I've wanted to, but the places I have been to, I've, I've, I think I've gotten some pretty good photos this year. Um, and yeah, that's about all I can say about uh, 22, uh, other than uh, you know the photos. Well, really more places uh, since they're, I couldn't really narrow it down to sort of a top 10 photo video um so yeah it's top 10 sort of places slash events i'll explain don't worry uh yeah of course i haven't uh recorded as many videos this year as i've, I've i kind of wanted to i think i only ended up with five six this year um Kind of disappointing, but I mean, part of it was because there, you know, some spots where it's like, yeah, there just wasn't a lot to for me to really, you know, get for a video. And other instances is sort of a last minute. Hey, let's go 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 to this place, and uh, yeah, just just the way it was. Uh, hopefully uh, next year, 23, I can get uh, get more uh, videos out, which would be kind of neat. But uh, we'll find out, won't we? Starting at uh, number 10 uh, is this photo that I took at uh, the Manitoba Highland Dance Association's uh, annual competition in, in May. Um, I was asked to be the, the official photographer for uh, the competition. Um, through my sister, who's with the Parents Association, and uh, yeah, it was it was fun, but it was also a long day, and you know, hall that was kind of stuffy and very little light, and uh, so I've you know had to uh, jack up the uh, the ISO on my camera to a point where I'm not normally comfortable shooting at um, like 16, 32, 6400, but uh, the results were okay. Um, but you know, towards the end of the day, uh, you know, I got this shot, which is a nice sort of long exposure, you know, blurry photo shot kind of thing, and uh, yeah, I think it turned out okay. All right, next up at uh, number nine is this uh, photo of uh, this cute little guy at uh, the Leo Mole Sculpture Garden back in July. Uh, typically, with when it comes to wildlife photography, I'm kind of a hit or miss, you know, uh, and if I'm not patient enough to, to stay anywhere for too long. So, yeah, it's, yeah, I'm not great at it. Well, maybe I'll improve this year, maybe I won't, I don't know. But uh, it's a nice, you know, sharp photo of uh, a dragonfly, and uh, you can even see a little dent in one of his eyes, or whatever you want to call them. Yeah, another reason why I'm not a good wildlife photographer. I don't know all the terminology. At. Uh, Number eight are uh, these photos from uh, the uh, Don's Photo Camera Hangout uh, events that happen once a month uh, near the beginning of the month. Uh, Don's Photo is a local uh, camera shop chain in uh, in Winnipeg and parts of Saskatchewan. Uh, I, sp I proudly support them. They're great guys. Uh, love going out and hanging out with them. Uh, why my wallet hates them, but you know I like to ignore my wallet sometimes. Okay, maybe a lot, I don't know. But uh, yeah, I mean, with uh, this uh, this first photo, uh, it was from uh, 
a hangout back in uh, June where um, we're on top of the uh, the art space building in the Exchange District. Uh, got to shoot some models and uh, I think the, the results turned out quite well, especially with the, the setting sun and uh, yeah, you know, and uh, also uh, it's, uh, another one from, uh, what was it, uh, it was a July uh, um, walk where we went to, to a place uh, called Munson Park. Um, and uh, I just love this, this photo where it's, you've got uh, the setting sun sort of creating a bit of a haze going through the trees here. And uh... Ah, sorry about that. I uh, was so rudely interrupted by a battery that just decided uh, to die. So I had to switch out batteries. Anyway, the third uh, photo from this, uh, this series of Don's photo hangouts uh, it was from a, an, a photo walk in July at uh, the Exchange District, and uh, it's of uh, an alleyway that's recently been, uh, well, okay, <laughs> it's December, it was probably done back in like June, uh, where they, you know, somebody strung up some lights in this, this alleyway, and uh, it's a photo of my buddy Earl uh, looking up in, in wonderment, and uh, thought it looked like a good photo, so uh, I took it, go figure. That's, uh, I think it's number seven. Uh, is this, uh, well, these series of five photos of the same bench at uh, the Assiniboine Park uh, English Gardens. Um, but, uh, you know, these, these gardens are a nice, uh, tranquil, you know, recreation of uh, gardens in uh, Venezuela. No, just kidding, England. Um, and uh, took this photo and started with one edit. Figured, hey, let's try a different one. Like that one tried a different one, same idea, and so on. So I got five different edits of uh, the same bench and I like how all five turned out. So congratulations, all five make it. The uh, photos from number six were from uh, Amazing Corn where in uh, late summer uh, they have a maze uh, made of corn. Uh, kind of simple concept, but hey, you know, it works. Uh, of course, walking through that maze, seeing all those years of corn, quite tempting to, you know, take one or two or a few and, uh, you know, see how, uh, how they taste. But I wouldn't do such a thing. I wouldn't. But, uh, anyway, uh, um, after, you know, going through the, uh, the maze with uh, my wife and a couple of our friends, we uh, decided to go to... Uh, the uh, the other part of the, uh, the 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 amazing corn place where they actually have uh, sunflowers, and uh, you know it's sunset. Uh, you've got uh, nice colors going on along with the you know the colors of the uh, sunflowers, and it looks so pretty. And taking a lot of photos. Unfortunately, you're also battling a lot of mosquitoes. And no matter how much uh, bug uh, spray I was using, they were still coming and in full force. I hate them. I hate mosquitoes. But I love these photos, so. So, uh, at number five uh, is this photo from uh, Grand Beach back in July, which you would have seen in my last video. Um, eh, I mean, my wife, a couple of our friends, and I decided to uh, head to uh, Grand Beach to uh, get some photos of uh, the northern lights because I knew they were strong. Um, you know, it's what happens when you have a couple of northern lights apps and consult the uh, the weather app uh, just to make sure the conditions are right. Um, but uh, got there for just time for sunset, and uh, at one point I decided to uh, slap on my uh, ten-stop ND filter to, uh, you know, get some sort of, um, you know, long exposure shots of uh, the water coming in, and uh, it's, it sort of has a bit of a nice dreamy look to it as well. Um, it's kind of a nice photo. I was definitely proud of it. And uh, yeah, what can I say? These photos for uh, number four are uh, out on a couple of country uh, roads just south of uh, Winnipeg back in August. You know, I'd been watching the, uh, the weather forecast just to 
see uh, if it was going to be foggy, and uh, sure enough, it was. You know, I just had to make some early morning drives, uh, uh, you know, out to the country. Um, we don't get a lot of fog here in uh, the middle of Canada. Um, conditions have to be like ultra, you know, wonderful in order to to get to it. You know, um, not saying that I'm jealous of the you know, famous British YouTubers who uh, photograph a lot of foggy places, but uh, okay, maybe I am, what can I say? But uh, I didn't actually have to, to do really much editing in Lightroom, other than, you know, removing some of the haze just so you can see some of the stuff there. So yeah, that's it for number four. Uh, number three, uh, sort of in the same vein as number four, where it was a foggy morning, but uh, this time it was in July back at uh, Birds Hill Park. Uh, with Birds Hill Park, it helps that it's got a lot of uh, low lying areas where fog can just sort of hang around, uh, you know, and uh, just stay there for a while. I mean, like I've been there in the past where it's been there till like, you know, 10, 11 o'clock in the morning. and. Uh, but uh, on this particular morning, my wife and I got there uh, early enough, probably about, I don't know, 5 a.m., where the sky was still like a dark pink, and then, uh, you know, developed into some nice orange and yellow colors like you, you see in this photo. And uh, again, haven't, didn't have to do a lot of uh, editing to, to get the colors to really pop. And, you know, the, the fog to, well, I suppose fog doesn't pop, but, uh, you know, I didn't actually have to add any extra haze just to, make it look better, but uh, yeah. But, uh, number two are these uh, shots from uh, back in early September um, when the northern lights were very strong. Uh, I, my wife and I uh, decided to uh, try and head out to, uh, to Beausager, um, but I mean, we we'll, we'll traveled out of Highway 59, um, we just saw them dancing all over, so we had to pull over to a country road, um, you know, just off Highway 59, uh, north of 44, probably a good half hour from Beausager, <laughs> but uh, I mean, they were, you know, to the west, to the north, to the east, and above, which is something you rarely see in southern Manitoba. You'd have to go to northern Manitoba to like Churchill or Thompson to see that. Uh, it was it was amazing. Um, I even got to take some photos with, with my phone and they turned out awesome. You know, and uh, the, the, the lights are dancing for a good, I don't know, hour and a half, two hours. And, uh, but of course, um, you know, had to, to leave, got a couple hours of sleep had to work uh, that day as well so yeah that was fun uh, and then uh, sort of kind of repeat it later that night but uh, awesome and uh, finally number one are uh, several shots from several visits this year to, uh, to Pinawa and Pinawa Dam Provincial Park I love these shots for uniquely different reasons, and you'll see why. Uh, this first one uh, was from February on one of the coldest days of the year. I think it was like minus 30 that day. Uh, I will say I was quite amazed that uh, the water was still flowing. I was, I was expected to be like completely frozen, uh, but no, it was, it was awesome. However, the not so awesome part was trying to get to there. Uh, a lot of deep snow, uh, had to park out on uh, the road leading to the park uh, and it was exhausting and uh, even when we got into the park um, having to, to navigate uh, the snow covered boulders didn't know where they really were because you can't see them and so I had to use my tripod uh, just sort of as a walking stick. Um, this next one was from uh, June or July, no, it was July. Uh, it was a nice Milky Way shot, and uh, um, you know, it's uh, several different uh, stacked photos of the uh, the Milky Way, uh, just to reduce the uh, the noise, because you know, shooting at such a high ISO, 
uh, and uh, did some light painting uh, on the foreground and blended the, uh, the two together uh, in, uh, in Photoshop and uh, kind of proud of it because yeah, my, my Milky Way shots before have really been kind of subpar. Uh, of course, it didn't help that you know it was battling mosquitoes. Uh, no matter much how, how much bug spray I was using, they were still attacking, which I hated. Even with uh, a uh, you know mosquito netting over my head, they were still getting to me. I hate mosquitoes. Although I prefer mosquitoes over like you know venomous snakes and spiders and such. Uh, yeah. And uh, finally, uh, this photo from uh, from October. Um, sort of wanted to recreate the uh, the uh, magical experience I had uh, back in September of 21, um, with all the uh, fall colors and uh, the uh, calm waters. And uh, however, uh, it was a little bit of a struggle because I had to go there a couple times just to get there with the, the right light conditions because uh, you know like had to go out right after work rushing to get there having to get dinner and eating dinner on the way and uh, ugh. but uh, I think it was worth it because uh, you know got some nice shots out of it uh, including um, well the one that you see in this photo which I've actually used for my phone case which you know I think is awesome kind of why I've chosen probably is my number one photo so yeah Yeah, anyway, uh, that's it for 22. Uh, I'm hoping for uh, 23, uh, more, lot, much more of the, uh, the fun stuff that I've been doing. Um, that's, I mean, really the biggest goal is just to get m more photographed and more places and, uh, you know, more stuff. Um, you know, if I can even travel out of province, I'd be happy with that. Because I haven't done that since 2019. 2020 it's been a while uh, so yeah at, at that point I'll wish you a happy new year and uh, do the usual like comment subscribe take care folks where'd the snakes go I mean they're they're around here somewhere I mean come on they can come out and wear like a scarf and toque and roam around not, not like there are you know any predators around here here snakey 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 Year, sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. Come on out, guys. Where'd you go?